We're in Windows 10 and I'm going to show you how to install the Telnet program. So what you want to do is go ahead and get into Control Panel. And I like to view by large icons. And then we go to the Programs and Features link. From here on the upper left hand corner, see where it says Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says Telnet Client. And we're going to click OK. And this usually doesn't take too long. Sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes a couple of minutes. Depends on how fast your computer is, what kind of resources you have on it. You don't have to put any kind of DVD or CD into the computer. It'll just find the files. And when it's done, it'll say it's completed, which it looks like it just about is. All right. So now if we minimize that, you can see our last attempt to Telnet said Telnet is not recognized as an internal external command. What we're trying to do is we're trying to see if we can reach the DNS server over at uh, Google and we're trying to reach it on port 53 which is what DNS uses. So you just type the word Telnet followed by the IP address followed by the port that you're trying to connect to. So we'll go ahead and just hit the up arrow and we should get a nice black screen if it connects which it does. So it, it allowed us to connect so we're good to go. Let's open up a new command prompt and we will do the same thing again, but this time we'll do a port that we know is probably not open over at Google. We have our choice of anywhere from port 1 all the way through 65, 535. That's how many ports there are. So let's go ahead and see if that one is open. And if it says connecting and it never actually connects, that means that that port is not open. Now this uh, trick only works with with TCP ports, not with UDP ports, because TCP is connection oriented, whereas UDP is not. There are other utilities that you can download uh, that uh, port scanners, that kind of thing, to see if a UDP, UDP port is open. All right, so that's how you install and use Telnet on Windows 10.